ASC 6.850 SCL manager is a SCL import export tool. It also facilitate the IEC 6.50 engineering of the substation. Today we will see how to use the tool at a basic level importing the ICD or SCD files and how to browse through different options in the tool. So let us start with the project. While creating a project, you can specify the name of the project. And further, it's possible to select the type of the 61850 station. It could be a substation, it could be a hydropower plant or a distributed energy resources plant, wind power plant or a system which accommodates all of them. Since this is a introductory video, I would go with substation which is the most generic use case of 61850. It's also possible to support two types of SCL files in the project. If the project need to be accommodated with both edition 1 and edition 2 files, then we need to select edition 2 here. But if the project is only going to accommodate edition 1 files, then it is okay to select the edition 1. So based on the SCL edition selected, the SCL version is automatically set. Click OK to confirm. Further, on the left explorer, there are different options available. It's possible to create the single line diagram. It's also possible to create the network diagram. And finally, it's possible to add multiple IEDs into the project. During this video, I would like to highlight how the IED configuration part is done. So for that reason, I will import the ICD file into the project. So there are three options available while adding the IED. It's possible to create a new IED configuration file. This feature would be useful for the original equipment manufacturers who has a new IED to be defined. Other option is to import from IED database. A CL manager comes with a simple database which can accommodate multiple SCL files. So it's possible to import the vendor files into that IED database for a later use. The most commonly used feature would be to import from file system. So if you have the vendor files available with you, you can directly browse the files and import into the tool. So in this video, I would like to focus on the import from file system option. So let us browse the file. So this is a file I have with Bay controller capabilities. In the wizard, it will show the IED name. It's possible to change the IED name at this point or at a later point of time. It will also specify what is the version of the file. There are two options available to set at this point. IED configuration tools gives the user more options to change the configuration of the IED. And system configuration file restrict the user from setting some detailed features of the IED. For example, logical node addition feature will not be available under system configuration mode because the logical nodes are normally added by the vendor or the manufacturer of the IED. So if you want to play around with the tool, 
more it's better to go with IED configuration otherwise tool may restrict you from doing certain operations click next further it is possible to set the sub network of the 61850 substation by default there is an entry provided from the SCL file but it's possible to override that name with something else so the if you need a different sub network name it is possible to assign it here same is the case applicable to the access point addressing part can be changed at any point of time so here we have an option to set the IP address sub network subnet mask gateway and other OSI parameters click finish to import the file into the tool double click on the icon or the IED name to open up the configuration of the IED so first tab gives the list of IED data model and second tab specify the services available in that IED we will come to that later right now you will see the IED data model tab under that the access points are listed there are options to add the access points or edit the access points or even change the sub network sub network of the IED as per the current configuration is listed here further the IP address and other connectivity information of the IED is provided under MMS communication details could see or edit all these informations from here further it's possible to view the goose communication details in this IED we have three goose control blocks the properties of the goose control blocks including the destination MAC address is provided here the last section is to list down the sampled value communication details as of now in this IED doesn't have any sampled value control blocks so that section is blank in the next tab it will list down all the goose control blocks and here it is possible to edit or change some of the goose control block parameters double click select the logical device here first the selection is provided as all so that means it will list down the goose control blocks of all the logical devices under this IED and there is an option to filter it based on the requirement double click on the entry to get a pop-up where user will be able to edit the properties name application ID data set configuration revision etc can be edited on the right hand side the network addressing part of the goose can be edited can specify it is possible to specify the application id vlan priority etc on the right hand side here an argus capability is also available in this tool so the IED is capable of sending out Argus packets. It's possible to set it here. Click OK once you make the changes. And further, the report control block screen is provided. The same fashion, double clicking of a single entry will pop out the detailed options and it's possible to make changes here 
as per the requirement. Datasets are also available for viewing or editing. Double clicking on, on an entry will give the current elements of the data set on the right hand side. It is also possible to delete the entries by right clicking on a specific entry or it's possible to add other elements from the logical device or the logical node using this option. Then there is a logical node data tab available. I skipped the sampled value as well as the setting group tabs because those are those will be present for the protection IEDs or the merging units. This is a back controller device, so it doesn't have a doesn't have a setting group or a sampled value control block. It's possible to select the logical device from the filter here and the entries of that specific logical node can be viewed on the right hand side. So in this fashion it is possible to browse through all the elements in the 6550 IED. Under IED configuration tool, it is possible to add the logical devices or the instances of the logical node. It's also possible to edit the name of the logical device change the prefix basically and also possible to edit the type of the logical node so these options are only available under ied configuration 2 mode under system configuration mode user is not supposed to make changes to the ied data model so these options will be hidden It's possible to set certain parameters into the configuration by setting the corresponding values here. So this summarizes the basic options available in the tool. I will come up with a different video to explain other options in the tool with respect to report configurations to a client IED and also for the goose mapping from one IED to another.